Hello, Grade 4 students, and welcome to a new lesson. Today's lesson is from Module 5, Project 2. As for the objectives of the lesson, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to recognize the use of conjunctions OR and BUT. Also, you will be able to write a blog about an interesting place. Make sure you open your students' books on page 61 and your workbooks on page 61. Now refer to student book page 61, activity 1. We are going to recall yesterday's lesson. What is this text? Do you remember from the previous lesson? This is a blog. What is a blog? A blog is a website on which people of all ages can write their personal opinions about the activities they do or their experiences. It's time to go over some writing tips to help you while writing a blog. Now, let's go over the text and read the sentences with me. I visited it with my family. Let's continue. I visited it again yesterday and had a great time there. I played tennis with Hamad. What is the tense of these sentences? It is the past simple. And we use the past simple to talk about actions that happened in the past and finished. Now read the examples with me. I visited my grandmother last week. Visited is the verb, it's in the past. Last week is the time expression, the key word that shows the past. Read the second one. Yesterday, I played tennis with Hamad. Again, the time expression is yesterday. And the verb is played in the past form. Now, what are the time expressions? Let's recall them. Yesterday last Monday, last Sunday, and so on, two days ago, three days ago, and so on. Writing tip one. Use the past simple to describe what you did and when. Make sure you use the time expressions when writing your sentences. Now it's time to have some practice with Noor and Ahmed. Ms. Huda will ask them questions, and you will help them answer her questions after referring to the pictures. Read the question with me. Where did you go yesterday? Look at the picture. It's written under it, Aspire Park. So, Noor will say, I went to Aspire Park. Great. She used the verb in the past. Let's continue and read the question with me. What did you do in Aspire Park yesterday? Look at the picture. It's a swing. It's written under the picture, play swing. So, Noor will say, I played on the swing. Great job. Read along. Where did you go yesterday? It's Ahmed's turn. It's written, the Corniche. So Ahmed would say, I went to the Corniche. Good job. Now, let's see what Ahmed did yesterday in the Corniche. Read the question. What did you do in the Corniche yesterday? Look at the picture. It's written, ride bike. So Ahmed would say, I rode my bike in the Corniche. Great. Road is the past of ride. Good job. Let's go back to the text again and read along. You can play tennis, football, volleyball, or basketball there. Look at the word OR. When do we use it? Writing tip 2. 
use or to introduce another possibility. Read the example with me. You can play basketball or tennis. Now look at the text and read with me. He is very good at tennis, but I won and I got a medal too. Look at the word but. When do we use it? Writing tip 3. Use but to introduce an idea that adds something to or is different from what you have said before. Read the example with me. I didn't play volleyball, but I played tennis. Now refer to workbook page 61, activity 1. We are going to use but and or in sentences correctly. Activity 1. Read and complete with but or or. Number 1. A. Mom. Is that jacket blue space black? The person who is asking can't tell what color is the jacket. So, we would use... Let's read again. Mom, is that jacket blue or black? B. It's blue, Saeed. Good job. Now pause the video and complete. Number 2. My brother plays baseball. Space, I play volleyball. We are giving two different ideas. So we would say, my brother plays baseball, but I play volleyball. Number 3. Do you need a racket, space, a bat to play tennis? Do you need a racket or a bat to play tennis? Number 4. Do you like chocolate, space, strawberry ice cream? Do you like chocolate or strawberry ice cream? Number 5. I'm not good at sports, space, I'm good at art. Let's give the answer. I'm not good at sports, but I'm good at art. Good job, grade 4. Please refer to workbook page 61, activity 2. It's time to complete the blog entry. Activity 2. Read and complete the blog entry. Write from A to D. We are going to fill in the gaps with A, B, C or D. But before we start reading the blog, let's read the options at the bottom. Read with me. A. In the afternoon, we had lunch. B. My mom gave me money to buy a toy dolphin or a poster. C. Write and tell us about it. D. I went there with my mom and dad on Saturday. Now, Let's read the blog together and fill in the gaps. Let's start. Did anyone visit City Zoo last weekend? Number 1. We need to ask that person to tell us about his visit. So we choose C. Write and tell us about it. Good job. Now pause the video and complete. Let's continue reading. City Zoo is amazing. Then we have number two. Let's read the sentence after number two. We saw animals from all over the world. So, we choose D. I went there with my mom and dad on Saturday. Let's continue reading. Number three. Then, my dad and I ate cheeseburgers and chips. 
But my mom had a salad. They are talking about food. So, we use A. In the afternoon, we had lunch. Great. Let's continue reading. After lunch, we watched a dolphin show. And then we went to the gift shop. Then we have number four. Let's continue reading. I chose the toy dolphin. We use B. My mom gave me money to buy a toy dolphin or a poster. This blog was posted by Laura on Monday, May 7th at 8.5 p.m. Now refer to workbook page 61, activity 3. It's time to help Ahmed. Activity 3. Imagine you visited an interesting place. Write your entry for the blog. Now, in this activity, we are going to help Ahmed to write a blog about an interesting place that he visited. He visited the Museum of Islamic Art. In the table, you can find all of the information you need to write. Let's start. He is going to form the first sentence about the name of the place and the time that he visited it. So, he would say, Two days ago, I went to the Museum of Islamic Art. Great! Now, he is going to use the next information. He went with his family. He would say, I went with my family. Good job. Now let's continue. See many paintings? No touch. So what would he say? I saw many paintings, but I didn't touch them. Because touching the paintings is not allowed. The last information. Go library. Many books. He continues, also, I went to the library. There were many books there. And at the end, he writes his name and the date, Tuesday, 24th of November, 2020. Now, in the workbook, page 61, activity 3, it's your turn to write a blog about an interesting place that you visited recently. Okay, for students, make sure you refer to this checklist after writing the first draft. You need to check your spelling. Also, capitalization, the use of capital letters. Also, you need to check the punctuation, the use of full stops and commas. Also, the grammar. You need to write your sentences in the past symbol. And make sure you write in a nice handwriting. Thank you. See you next lesson. Bye.